School is back in session as we have another update on the modular school for the LEGO City. Hey there, it's Jonathan here from Preston Builds. And if you like LEGO City content, LEGO updates, or anything to do with LEGO for that matter, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in our last update of the modular school, we had a look at the first two floors that we built, the entrance hall and the cafeteria above. And this was all that I'd done at this point as I'd run out of parts. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. After getting a load more parts in, we were back in business and ready to get back to the school, which is definitely something I never said when I was a kid. So now, in this update, we have not one, not two, but three floors to take a look at. But before we do, just look at how good these two look together. This school is going to be incredible, and I can't wait to get it finished. But now let's take a look at these floors inside. So like I said, in the last update, I showed you the entrance hall and the cafeteria, which was above. But we'll just have a quick look at, at those two floors again, just in case you're new to the channel. So here is the entrance hall with the main foyer where the students will come into the school. And then off to the side, each side, they have the his and her restrooms. And in the entrance hall as well, we've got some vendor machine and some benches with the stairs going up to the cafeteria. Then here is the cafeteria above with the seating area in the centre of the room. I've got a kitchen off to the side where they'll get their food and their food being prepped as well in there in a very small kitchen, but looking very good. A lot packed in there very detailed in there we've also got some more vending machines here off to the side and we have another staircase going up to the floor above which is the first one we're going to have a look at in this new update and here is the floor above the school cafeteria it is the school library quiet oh sorry about that this is a very cool floor with all those bookcases and desks and we'll have an in-depth look at that. First of all though, as you can see at the back there, we've got the staircase that comes up from the cafeteria and that leads into this corridor. And then we've got the door that leads through to the school library. So here is the library. In here, we have these five bookcases, two here, two here, and then one at the back there. I'm not gonna lie, these were quite tedious to make. It was quite a struggle to find all of the different colour tiles, obviously because there's so many parts this, 14,000, and to search through them all for all the different tiles and stuff. That got quite tedious and it was a long part of the build. But the finished result of the bookcases looks really good. And then to just top it off, we have a few desks where the students can sit and study with the books that they get from the shelves. So in my last update, I was saying that I was swapping out the colour of the tiles for the floor. So in the instructions, the tiles were going to be light bluish grey, but instead of buying all of the light bluish grey tiles needed, I thought I'll just swap them out for colours that I have. That way it can bring the cost of the whole project down. And throughout the rooms, as you can see on this back corridor here, I was using the white 1x2 tiles. But I thought I'll just mix it up now and on this floor have uh, the dark bluish grey. Now I don't think that it looks too bad. Then we've thrown the sand blue and the dark green one by one tiles just to mix it up a little bit. But I'm quite happy with how the dark bluish grey looks. I don't think that it looks too bad. Maybe the light bluish grey would have been a lot better, hence the reason why the designer PDJ went with that. But I'm happy with the dark bluish grey and obviously I've saved a lot of money not having to buy them. So win-win in my opinion. Here's a closer look at the desks in the library. They've got the lamps on there and also... A few accessories, got a red drinks cup. As you can see, they've got the takeaway style cup on the back one there. And also a letter there as well. This is going to look really good when we've got some students sitting down studying their books as well. And then just to finish off this room, there's a little lamp in the corner as well as in the other corner, a potted plant. So I think the library looks really good. And that finishes off the central module of the building. This one is three floors high, so we've got the entrance hall, the cafeteria, and then that library. Looking really good, and on to the next floor. 
So the next floor we are going to look at is the ground floor of one of the side modules. But before we look at the interior of the floor, I just want to draw your attention to the trees that are outside. I'm not a huge fan of these trees. They are quite difficult to build. They use a lot of small pieces and actually, as you can see, the branches, they don't stay up at all. They just fall down. Also, I'm not a fan of all the branches and the trunks of the trees being black. I mean, look at that, it's just fallen off. They're quite big as well for the outside sidewalk of the school. I think I will replace them for some smaller trees that I'll design. And they should have been even uh, bushier. But the instructions were wanting me to place a piece on this little black bit here. And there just wasn't enough of the black piece for the part to grip onto. So it just kept falling off. So I couldn't go any further with the trees. So this is as far as they, they got. But I'm just not a huge fan of them. So they will be coming out for some other trees. Because I do like having greenery on the sidewalks of the buildings. And it will just break up all that grey to have some nice trees on there. So they'll be getting replaced. But for now, they can stay there as part of the build while I show it off. So this is actually our first classroom of the modular school. And as you can see, it is music class. And in here we have a very grand piano. Just like the trees, though, this was slightly awkward to build. There were definitely some illegal techniques within this build, but we got through it in the end. And the, the overall finished look does look really good. So I'm pleased with that. Also in the music room is a drum kit. This is just missing a couple of 2x2 two two round radar dishes in metallic gold for the cymbals. I need to get hold of those. At the back there, there's a saxophone and a guitar on the back wall. And there's also, I'm not sure if it's a cello or a double bass, but it's another instrument for the music room anyway. So all the classrooms on the modular school have these whiteboards built into the wall. And I really like this one with the music sheets that come in friend sets. I think that's a really good addition to the music room. And then filling out the room in the corner. Again, with most of the classroom, they have these cabinets in the corner with books piled high on top. Trophy on the shelf. They obviously won some music competition, which is great. The original floor design for this room and most of the classrooms, again, Light bluish grey, 2x2 two two tiles, and then the 1x1s one ones are supposed to be tan and dark tan. The build requires a lot of those tiles. So here in this case we swapped out the 2x2 two two light bluish grey for white and then added dark turquoise and sand blue for the 1x1s. One ones. And I don't think it looks too bad. Maybe a little bit retro 80s. But I think it works and it goes quite well with this music room but let me know what you think so when the modules are connected together this is the doorway that you'll get through to that entrance hall and as you can see through there in the corridor we have this really cool set of lockers i'm just trying to get a good angle on and these are in every corridor on the floors that have classrooms the last floor i have to show you in this update is the computer room I like this room a lot. It's very busy. I think that these computer desks are awesome with all their separate monitors, keyboards, mouses. They've even got their phones on their desks, which, you know, I don't think would happen in real life, but this is only Lego, so we'll let it slide. There's a large monitor at the front of the class for the teacher to demonstrate on, and there's also the teacher's desk as well, and they have their own uh, monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and also a mobile phone for themselves as well. I mean, they've all got to keep up on the latest Lego news, haven't they? So just like the music room, we've got the cabinets in the corner, a fire extinguisher, the whiteboard that's built into the wall, a potted plant. Also, I forgot to point out on the music room, they've got these really cool radiator builds on each of the floors. Again, kind of fiddly to build, but once they're in, they look really good. And then another addition to this room is the bookcase at the back of the classroom. I really do love this room. It's a lot better than the music room, in my opinion. And as you can see, with this classroom, it's got the light bluish grey floor tiles that the instructions suggest. And I've got to say, they do look a lot better than the white tiles. But like I've said, I'm trying to cut costs, so I had to use those white tiles. But the light bluish grey does look a lot better. So we put all those floors together and just look how good it is.
It's absolutely amazing. The outside is just so detailed. And don't forget as well, there's still going to be a whole nother module to go on this side. It's just going to be absolutely insane, the size of this building. I'm so excited. And even the back of the building is incredibly detailed. Just look how good it looks. And I feel quite bad because when it's in the Lego City, it's going to be up against a wall, I think. So I'm not going to really get to see the back of it. But I'll just admire it now while I've got it out in the, uh, in the build room here now. Looking fantastic. Yeah, really loving this build. So like I just said, there is another module to go to the side of these two. And that's what I'm going to be starting next. We have uh, just a regular classroom on the base floor. And then above that is the science class. But I think the next update will be the complete Lego school. I don't think I'll, I'll want to do an update of the two floors and then an update after it with the roofs. So I think the next update will be the completed school. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that update. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. It will help the channel out a lot. Thanks a lot for tuning in for this update, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.